Jesus Christ, really? Don't forget to become a member of Unrelent Gaming's Patreon for exclusive manga content and early access. Isn't that right, Seth? I already joined his Patreon today. Tons of great stuff on there, actually. But did you really have to blow up the city? Mm, yes. You blew up the domino. You blew up the domino and you're laughing. Do you realize the f***ing crisis here? And you will be next. Unless you subscribe, like the video, and turn on notifications right now. Or else what? You'll aggressively scream another man's name for several hours? Kakarot! Kakarot! Well, this was certainly something that I did not see coming, especially since Lord Beerus and Goku aren't really known for training with each other in recent times. But what's this? Well, would you look at that? Now this is definitely a surprise. I haven't seen this destroyer for millions of years since the days of when the Omni King wiped out six universes within the blink of an eye for being in a bad mood, with Universe 13 being one of them, and so now I wonder on what he's doing here. Well, whatever it may happen to involve, I'm sure that things are about to get very interesting here, and hopefully it's not for the worst either. Our story opens up three days after the initial defeat of Moro73 following his initial battle with our heroes on Earth, as with both Whis and the Oracle Fish having to oversee a training session involving both Beerus and Goku, it was only as they were now beginning to observe was when the Oracle Fish went on to respond, Jeez, those two sure are going at it up there. And to think that any of us would ever even come to see the day where a mortal like Goku was able to keep up with Lord Beerus like this just sounds too good for it to be true. But what do you think, with Whis responding, Well, Goku certainly has come a very long way since the days when he first discovered the Super Saiyan God ritual, and so it doesn't surprise me to see how far he's come since then, with the Oracle Fish responding, Well, that's true, too, but who do you think will win here between these two? Because it looks like without Goku's ability to use Ultra Instinct in battle, Lord Beerus is simply going to continue to beat that Saiyan down until he either knocks him out or just makes him quit. So take your pick here, Whis, with Whis responding, Well, it's hard to say since Goku really isn't someone who is known for quitting quitting or tapping out, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. By instructing Goku not to use Ultra Instinct in this battle, both his strengths and his weaknesses become far more apparent against Lord Beerus than they ever would, and this is exactly what I wanted to see. This battle is all about the fundamentals, Oracle Fish. It's about the very core of Goku's abilities in battle, and Ultra Instinct would only skew his perspective from within the moments, which was why I wanted him to use it only for when he absolutely needs to, to which upon Blue Goku now shown battling against Beerus, it was only midway during their initial engagement was when Beerus went on to then comment, Not bad, Goku, but tell me, is that all of the power that your Super Saiyan Blue has to offer? I'm very disappointed, Goku, because here I thought that you'd give me a real challenge, with Goku then responding, Well, I'm trying to, Lord Beerus, but I don't think that I can do much here while using Super Saiyan Blue against you without having to jump into using my Ultra Instinct as my ace card to win this. Oh, so is that what you're hoping to try and use here? Beerus went on to question. What's wrong? Are you having a bit of trouble keeping up with my power without it? You might want to save your energy because at this rate, you'll exhaust yourself long before you even have the chance to graze me. And without Ultra Instinct, you simply can't win and you know it. To which as Beerus was now shown punching Goku in the face, Goku had ultimately now come to the realization that without Ultra Instinct, he really couldn't do much as 
spears then went on to continue but do make sure to keep trying goku because you might get lucky enough to actually land a solid punch on me if you do do you remember when you first fought me well it looks like not much has changed since those days now have they with goku then responding oh man this is just nuts and i can't even lay anything in on him without getting punched from out of nowhere and even then he's still making all of this look so easy too no and since we said that i can't use my ultra instinct as a way to counter lord beerus then i'll have to try and go as high as i can by using my kaioken as a last resort here now i'm not really sure if this will work on him or not but it's worth giving it a shot and especially if i hope to break through his guard and get a good clean shot in on him and so i guess it's better late than never i suppose and so here goes now let's just hope that this works on him to which as goku is now shown channeling his energy and unleashing the kaioken it was just as goku is now shown having to do so where the oracle fish went on to chime back in i don't know about this weiss that saiyan's playing with fire here but by the looks of it i think things are about to get really messy really fast here the oracle fish continues and if goku manages to actually get a hit in then lord beerus might not be so forgiving on him so goku better watch it and weiss please tell me that you have some kind of a plan in case goku actually gets the upper hand and angers lord beerus more than how he already has and then what well i didn't really think that we would even need one to begin with but i guess we'll have to wait and see if goku even reaches that point with the oracle fish responding i don't know about this i think these two are starting to get a little too aggressive down there in which shockingly enough from out of nowhere the moment super saiyan blue kaioken goku was actually able to land the shot on beerus was when goku then went on to shout right there now i've got you lord beerus so do you still think that i'm not on your level or what oh no goku you are far from being considered to be anywhere near my level of power saiyan with or without your silly kaioken technique you don't even come close mortal to which upon from out of nowhere the moment beerus was now shown uppercutting goku in the stomach and dropping him back down to his base form was when beerus went on to continue this is not a fight goku it's a demonstration of the vast difference between your power and mine and so now stop wasting my time because without your ultra instinct you can never come close in rivaling my power saiyan with weiss then responding well that seemed a little rough around the edges there but i do hope that goku is okay oh and what do we have here weiss went on to question could it be oh goodness what a shot the oracle fish went on to comment and look goku's completely dropped out of his super saiyan blue form along with that kaioken that he was using too it's all gone and so what do you think will happen next weiss do you think that goku is going to be foolish enough to stand back up and fight or do you think that this fight is already over because i'll lose my mind if that saiyan decides to stand back up again uh weiss you seem a bit quiet there with weiss responding well this was definitely the last possible thing that i was ever expecting to see here today but my apologies there oracle fish but it looks as though we have some unexpected visitors that have decided to drop in after not having to see them for a very very long time interesting wait visitors did you just say visitors as in vegeta but didn't he say that he was going to be training in that gravity chamber on earth well you may not notice but i want you to look very closely behind goku weiss went on to then respond they're about to touch down any second now how very interesting to which as goku is now shown backing up was when goku then went on to say to himself oh darn it lord beerus is a lot tougher than i imagined that he would be and even despite using super saiyan blue with the kaioken on top of it well i guess i'm now left with no other choice but to try and engage him by using but then it was only just before goku could even go as far as to finish his sentence where he was then shown having to bump into an unknown individual with the individual then responding a mortal warrior training with a destroyer never would i have imagined even in my wildest dreams that i would ever live to see the day where a mortal would be shown sparring with a god of destruction well perhaps the times have truly changed since the days of your former era now haven't they lord reno and what a fascinating sight indeed very interesting to which as goku was now shown turning around was when goku then went on to ask whoa who in the world is that he he's absolutely massive it's become very clear to me especially after seeing it for myself that beerus has gotten soft over the years and for a mortal such as this puny creature here to have any place in training with gods is a disgrace as beerus even went on to question go oh, but surely that can't be and i see it but i just can't believe my eyes right now but he shouldn't be here he 
he was destroyed a very long time ago along with the other universes by the Omni King. And is this true? Is this really you down there, Lord Reno? To which, lo and behold, from out of nowhere, we only from that point then bear witness to the resurrected God of Destruction of Universe 13, Reno, and his angel Pino to step down on Tiberius' planet as his angel then went on to respond, well, it looks like Universe 7's God of Destruction remembers you after all, Lord Reno. And as I'm sure that Lord Beerus must probably have dozens of questions, as the God of Destruction Reno went on to respond, as do I, but firstly, have the eons since I've been gone dulled your senses this much, Beerus? I've been gone for quite some time, only to return and find a mortal in the presence of gods. It's perplexing, to say the least, since when have you taken liberties in caring about mortals like this? Are you so desperate for amusement that you've let mortals such as this one here dance freely within our courts? We bear the title of destroyers for a reason, Reno went on to then continue. And so what kind of destruction has this mortal ever demonstrated to stand amongst us, Beerus? Have your standards fallen so low that you entertain such creatures within the hollowed halls of the gods? What a joke. With the oracle fish then responding, and I completely forgot what Lord Reno there even looks like since it's been so long, but he's huge and scary looking. With Whis responding, well, it almost feels like it's been an eternity since I've last seen or even felt the presence of Universe 13's Destroyer and Angel. And then if I may ask Pinota, how exactly are you and Lord Reno here? With Angel Pinota responding, well, while in active following Lord Reno's erasure, I recently felt a great shift within the cosmic order in the multiverse, and I was right. And if my suspicions are correct, then the cause of our revival comes directly from a recent tournament that was held among your universes. And as such, whatever may have been wished for during this so-called tournament of power was directly responsible in restoring all six of the previously erased universes that the Omni King had wiped away a very long time ago. And the revival of these universes could introduce variables that weren't previously considered, and as I'm sure that you agree that the dynamics here are about to become very interesting, as Goku then went on to respond, Wait, hold on a second, I remember Whis telling us something about you guys before. So 17's wish actually had gone as far as to even bring back the six erased universes back into existence? And you, how dare you speak to me with such a carefree and disrespectful attitude, mortal? I have seen countless beings like you fall before, and so you'd better do well to remember your place amongst the gods, mortal. And so whether you are Beerus's little puppet to keep him entertained or not, do your yourself a favor here and remember that I'm not Beerus, and so now get out of my face, creature! To which within that very moment as Reno was shown having to swipe Goku away with Beerus touching down in between them was when Beerus then went on to respond, That's enough, Reno. Now although I second your comments that were made towards the Saiyan, I will not have you come into my universe and step down onto my planet unannounced like this. So you will explain yourself right now, Destroyer. What could possibly have dragged you out of oblivion? Oblivion and onto my doorstep, Beerus questions. Of all the places to go in the multiverse, you decided to come here, and so why? This better be worth my time because I don't recall sending out any invitations, especially not to long-lost gods of destruction who were just recently brought back along with their universe. I have enough on my plate without dealing with resurrected destroyers, and so get on to the point as to why you've arrived onto my planet. What could possibly be so important that you'd come all all this way here after all this time, Beerus questions. You and I have never seen eye to eye on anything, Reno, so make it quick. As Goku went on to then sit back up by then responding, Oh, what a shot! Oh, there's a lot more to this god of destruction than I thought there'd be. Oh, my head's spinning. Oh, hey, what gives? I never meant any sort of disrespect towards you, Lord Reno, with Beerus then responding, Do not, under any circumstance, insert yourself within this conversation. Goku. You have no idea what you're dealing with here, and so unless you are addressed, you will stay where you are. You and I are not finished, but first to get down as to the bottom of what's going on here, so don't even think about trying to get reckless, and especially not while on my planet. Do you understand? With Reno then chiming in, I find it ironic that you speak on having unfinished business with the mortal, and yet you and I have some unfinished business of our own, now don't we? Did you really think that my erasure would be the end of our saga, our battle is eternal, Beerus. And so it's not 
vengeance that drives me, but it's the need to know once and for all on which one of us is truly the stronger god of destruction, Reno continues. And just in case if you don't remember, before I was erased, I had you beat. And if it were not for all six of us being erased within the process, then you know that I would have beaten you and you know it, Beerus. With Beerus responding, I should have known that you'd come here looking for a rematch, Reno. Tell me something, Beerus continues. Were you able to somehow find some kind of a hidden reservoir of power, or is this simply your ego getting in the way of you wanting to settle the score between us? And I've grown much stronger since our last dance, but what about you? With Weast then responding, well, I will say, especially considering the fact that I was there to watch you both battle once before, that it directly goes against the rules of having two gods of destruction battle without special permission given. And as you both may already know, the risk of fighting one another without it is simply too great, Weast continues. So in order for there to be a rematch between you both to take place, we would first need to speak with the Grand Priest and schedule a one-on-one -on -one contest if we hope to make this happen without the risk of getting in trouble. And unless you both wish to somehow upset the Omni Kings along with the Grand Priest, then I think it's best if we think this through, with Beerus then responding, I see, yes, as was the case when me and Champa attempted to battle as well, with Reno then chiming back in, this is also true, for I don't intend to be destroyed like how I was destroyed before again. So what say you, Pinota? With Pinota responding, it's a little tough to truly say for sure, my lord, but and I do believe that my brother here does have a point in the matter, so it's better to either avoid fighting each other if you aren't willing to see what the Grand Minister has to say on the matter, Lord Reno, but then again, we could find another way to have you both settle the score without the risk of breaking any rules, and so and if the Grand Priest denies your request to fight Lord Beerus directly, then perhaps there are other ways to resolve your issues until the two of you can be given the right to fight freely without anything holding you back, with Goku then responding, Hey, so, um, instead of running the risk of fighting each other without being given permission to do so, why don't we just do what we did with Lord Champa and host a little tournament instead? It's a stretch, but it's better than making the Omni Kings and Grand Priest upset, right? It's been a really long time since we held one of those anyways, and so, why don't we try to organize a universe versus universe exhibition event and see if we can just but then, it was only just before Goku could even go as far as to finish his sentence where Reno went on to chime back in by then shouting, and just who exactly asked you for your input, mortal? I grow tired of your constant disrespect, especially since this doesn't involve you. And the fact that he is still here despite knowing what's good for him is a sign that he is to be destroyed without a trace and I will not stand for any of it. With Beerus responding, now just calm down, Reno. Let's not get too hasty here. This mortal is here with me for a reason and so I will not have you destroy him. With Reno then responding, how dare you protect this creature, Beerus? Fine, then if that's how you want to play this game of yours, then you will be destroyed along with him. And so you may be willing to overlook his impudence, but I can assure you, Beerus, that I am not so forgiving as you are. Since when have you become the guardian of mortals, Reno continues? You should learn to choose your battles very wisely, Destroyer. We're deities, not babysitters, Beerus. We are not here to coddle these mortals or protect them, and so if you wish to guard him, then so be it, Destroyer. And so you should know better than any other on just how serious I take my position as Universe 13's God of Destruction, Beerus. So time's up, with Angel Pinota chiming in. Actually, Lord Reno, how about instead of getting yourself into any unnecessary trouble by attacking Lord Beerus directly, that we instead take the mortal suggestion into careful consideration for it might be for the better. And not only that, but this would also give you the chance to do what you've been wanting to do now for a very long time. And so think about it, my lord, with Reno responding, Yes, now I see, then so be it, Pinota, for I have an idea, with Beerus questioning, Oh, that look on your face says it all, and I don't like it one bit, and so now spill it, Reno, because I know that you're up to something, and so now cough it up. What do you suggest for us to go about this the right way? With Reno responding, It's simple, Destroyer. We'll take your mortal up on his idea and commence with a two-on-two -two universal tournament. Universe 7 against Universe 13 with you and I as the tournament's final bosses to battle in the end. And if you and I were to participate, then we both need a reason as to why, right? And so this will be that very reason. And so I will give you 24 Earth hours to 
to gather two of your mightiest mortal warriors to do battle against two of Universe 13's strongest. As from there, if my mortals were to clear past yours, then you will be left to face them in the end, and if your warriors clear past mine, then they will deal with me in the end, and if by some chance all four mortals were to be destroyed, then that just leaves you and me in the end, Beerus. With Beerus then questioning, well, what do you think, Whis? At the bare minimum, would this warrant any cause for concern if such a small elimination tournament were to be held? Would we need to seek special permission or not for this event? With Whis responding, well, to be fair, I do believe that you and Lord Reno are in the clear, however, if and only if it does come down to you and Lord Reno in the end, then, well, before the two of you were to engage, we would need to speak with the Grand Minister for that to happen, but mortals, on the other hand, are allowed to battle either of you, of course, if it even boils down to that, with Angel Pinota responding, wonderful, then the event will be held in our universe 24 Earth hours from now. And so if you here in the 7th were wise, it would be best for you to go and find the two mortal warriors of choice before the event begins. For within the time that you are given, we do hope that you use it wisely, unless of course you both already have two of your very best mortals in mind, which I doubt for it to be the case, with Goku surprisingly then going as far as to chime in, hey, so if we're really going to be doing this, then I'll gladly volunteer Goku shouts. I've always wanted to know what it felt like to do battle against another god of destruction, with Reno then asking, do you willingly volunteer to take part in your own destruction? And what do you mean by what you just said? Did this mortal battle you on a serious level outside of just training Beerus? You don't actually believe that you are any sort of match for Universe 13, do you? With Beerus then responding, yes, that's right, Reno. This Saiyan and I once waged a fearsome and explosive battle here in the 7th, and so I think Goku here is just the perfect choice as being one of the two to represent me. And just for the record, Reno, he may look small and puny, but this mortal is more unique than what you see on the surface, with Reno then chiming in, Nonsense! I refuse to believe Beerus' lies, and so what can you tell me on this Goku, Pinota? Is this creature every bit of what Beerus says he is or not? With Angel Pinota responding, I believe that Lord Beerus is telling the truth about this one here, Lord Reno, for I do also believe that he was a part of Universe 7's team on the day when the Great Tournament of Power was held after all, with Reno then responding, Interesting. Well, then it's your lucky day, mortal, because if you're any bit as good as Beerus says you are, then show me. I haven't battled anyone, let alone a mortal, in millions of years, Reno continues, and so this ought to kick me back into shape and knock the rust off, and so you and I will engage right here, right now, Saiyan. I want to see what you're all about, and for your sake, you better give it your best, because I'm going to make this quick, with Goku then responding, well, although I was originally supposed to be training here with Lord Beerus, this was the last thing that I was ever expecting to find myself in, but no problem, Lord Reno, because if you want to see what I'm all about here in the 7th, then I'm going to show you exactly what I'm made of, so I'm ready, to which it was only right then and there within that moment, where the Beyond Dragon Ball Super story of Universe 13's resurrected God of Destruction versus Universe 7 manga chapter number 1 special then comes to a close. Now this is it, before I dive any further in letting you guys know and giving you more information on how this is going to tie into the top 5 sequel, you do not want to miss out on how this story is going to transpire, especially especially with the fallen gods now being resurrected courtesy of an indirect wish, to which all of this including additional content, early access, soundtracks, artwork, and so much more will be made available right now on my Patreon for you guys to have access to, especially if you want to go as far as to support the content that you see on this channel, so you do not want to miss out on any of the big stories that are going to be dropping on the channel relatively soon, to which to that, I do encourage for you guys to become a member of my Patreon today, patreon.com slash gaming to where I will go ahead and leave that link located down in the description box below and pin comment section below as well, because just in case if you guys also just so happen to be a little curious on how this is going to tie into the top 5 sequel, well, to give you guys more information and clarity, this story as well as many of the stories that you guys are going to see coming on the channel within the next year will tie into the sequel in ways that this story as well as many of the stories that you guys are going to be seeing drop on the channel within the course of the next year will directly be tied into the sequel in ways that many of the characters that you're going to be seeing, such as an example with Reno, will be directly brought over into the Tournament of Power 2, aka the Omniverse event, to which such examples of characters making their way on over into the sequel will be Universe 13's God of Destruction Reno, as well as many future characters and previously existing characters that I've brought forward on the channel will be also making their entry as well, and those characters will include Raikon, 
Granoku, which is the fusion of Goku and Granola, Goro 73, which is the fusion of Adult Gas and Moro, Universe 14's God of Destruction that I will later introduce, and so many other characters will be brought forward in that sequel, and you can almost kind of think of it as an Avengers Infinity War slash Avengers Endgame type scenario where the Omni Kings are going to be drawing forward warriors from alternate realities and timelines, such as the ones you guys see here, and will be brought forward to battle against, as an example, Angel Goku, Master to Ultra Ego Vegeta, Budo, Takira, Akuma, Yoshido, and etc. So to that, you guys are going to have to give this time because I do have a plan, and if you trust in the plan, then you can ultimately rest assured that you are going to be getting a banger of a story. So again, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so very much for your time. This is only going to be but the beginning of a massive story to come, and I can't wait to reveal the other gods of destruction and all of the circumstances that are going to take place. So to that, just be patient, sit back, and enjoy. Thank you all so much for watching, to which once again, if you also just so happen to be new to the channel, then I do encourage for you guys to head on over and smash that subscribe button on top of giving this video a big fat thumbs up by smashing that like button down below. Tune back in for more. Thank you all so much for your time. And with that being said, I will be seeing each and every single one of you down in the comment section below and in the next video. Take it easy, everybody, and have a great day. Peace. Hello. Did you know that you can stay up to date with the latest Dragon Ball content by simply subscribing to Unrelent Gaming? Also, don't forget to follow on these social media platforms, you sexy son of a bitch. Roshi. Silent Cell. Me and the fans are having a moment. That's right. I know what you want. Extra long, thick Dragon Ball content. Quality reviews with flawless editing. Yeah. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You dirty bitch. Roshi, the fuck? God damn it, I need them to subscribe, Cell. And we're demonetized. Yeah, screw it. Let's cut to the video. <laughs>